Hello lovely dancers, my name is Aisha and welcome back to Belly Dance Tutorials. Today I'm gonna continue with the introduction to belly dance lessons and I'm gonna go over the chest figure eight. If you are thinking about learning how to belly dance, you are in the right place. I have this uh, series that I started a while ago about introduction to belly dance that goes over the basic isolations that are the foundation of belly dancing. So please go and check out my previous videos because they are in a certain order so you can build up knowledge and um, movement um, in, in, a, in a right manner. So today we're gonna go over the chest figure eight. Figure eights are very important in belly dance. It's, it's pretty much the bread and butter <laughs> of belly dancing. So it's very important to learn them and to execute them correctly. They are numerous. But today we're gonna go over the chest figure eight um, and we're gonna do the horizontal figure eight and the vertical figure eight, all right? So chest figure eight, the horizontal figure eight, looks like this. All right, so um, let's go over the technique for this. We are imagining a figure eight or an infinity sign placed horizontally. And we're trying to move our rib cage along along this pattern. The movement starts with a slight turn, so it's a slight twist, and I'm trying to create the first loop of the movement from back to side to front. And now I'm pushing straight back and changing direction with the other side. So my other side will go back, side, and front. So this is how in, in the middle we connect the two circles. So we have to push back and do this side on this, on the left side, my side, push back and other circle on the other side. All right, so one more time. For the chest movements, it's very important to have our correct uh, posture yeah, so check it out. I have a video on that. Uh, knees slightly bent, pelvis tucked in. Because this will stabilize the lower body and will allow us to do the movements with the upper body um, with, uh, isolated to this area. So we don't want to involve the hips in the chest movements for now. So again, you're gonna turn. It's a slight twist to the back on this side. Do a circle, a loop on the, this side, press it back, and on the other side, I'm doing another loop changing direction, right? So this is one loop, other loop. One loop, other loop. So back, side, front, press down, back, side, front, press down. Yeah. And we try to keep our shoulders in place. Um, try not to move and anything else. <laughs> um, so let's try it with some music. Let's try the horizontal figure eight, chest figure eight. I'll start on this side. You can just mirror me. A little twist to the back. Now the loop on this side. Press back. Now the loop on the other side. Press back. So there is a little sinking in here. Chest circle sinking in here, yeah? You can make 
make it more square to the front so you, you can twist as much as you want if you don't want to twist you can just go side front and back side front and back so this is a little bit more of a um, frontal position so it's more square to front but you can twist a little more to add more depth all right um, and then you can change direction <laughs> you can start on the other side a little twist back around and press back back around press back in the middle all right so this was the horizontal figure eight we'll move on to the vertical figure eight the vertical figure eight is in the frontal plane so um, it goes like that it goes from front to down and let's break it down so you push your ribcage to the side you lift it diagonal down so this other side is already down and you lift this side now diagonal down lift diagonal down and lift so the loop is here in the vertical plane yeah also try to make this uh, square to front don't twist yet or add any other elements so we're gonna actually we're gonna start with a little tilt on the side it's a little easier to start with and then you press out and up you are already placed this other side in in the starting position so you press down and side and up this side down and side and up and then try to not move the lower body <laughs> keep the knees bent stabilize your lower body all right let's try it with music so let's try it with music i start on this side a little tilt first out up can add a little um, level change it's nice when you come up like that um, so it's a pretty advanced it's a more advanced movement practice it it takes a while to get enough stretch in the ribcage area to get your muscles uh, strong enough to push your ribcage but in time you'll be able to do it better and better and um, just keep practicing all right dancers next time we'll move to the hips area there is a, a multitude of figure eights that you can do with your hips uh, that's very exciting because they are pretty spectacular and that and it gives the character of belly dance so stay tuned for more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and i'll see you next time until then shimmy shimmy